So let's just sit down and start with that. My last name is Sussman. I'm not Dominican. I'm black and white. My mother's Christian. My father's black. Uh, my father's white and Jewish. My mother's black and Christian. I came out looking like a Dominican motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> my Dominicans in here. And um, I started DJing a long time ago, bro. Um, even though I'm only 21 years old, you know, um, I started off a long, long time ago. And um, you know, I'm not gonna start talk about like the early mixtape days and when right, I was right, in high school, right. high school and all this, but my first, I interned at Sony to start for Epic, for Columbia, for Mariah Carey's old label with Sony Crave Records. Then I found my way into the club scene. Then I found my way into the radio scene. My first radio gig was in Hartford, Connecticut um, for iHeart sister station, Power 1041. Then I found my, I'm giving y'all the short version of the story. And then I found my way to New York, Power 105. Um, point one um, in New York and in that in that era my brother DJ Clue shout out to Clue put me on to Mariah because when I used to intern for her she didn't know me so he put me on to Mariah and then I ended up becoming her main DJ because she loved me and I ended up going on tour with her um, started moving forward on the chain for Power 105 one ended up later being on Jamming in Boston I'm on Jamming in Boston on Fridays I do Dash Radio morning show on Taste I do Maryland, um, Live 97.5, Monday through Thursday. I used to be on Sirius XM, but we had a fallout, so that's no longer <laughs> at the, for the moment. Politics and, um, as usual. Yeah, and, and yeah, it was definitely politics. And just recently, I got the Wendy Williams show, and I'm doing that Monday through Friday. And that's the super short version of the grind, but that there's a lot more that happened in a 20 years span, over 20 years. Span. And we definitely going to tap in more, you know what I'm saying? But I just see that that my guy, the triple OG, Dipset legend, Bird Gang, Capo, Jim Jones is in the building. What up, Jones? What up, Jim? Jim. You on mute, you on mute. How y'all feeling? What's up with y'all? Capo, what's good, Capo, what up, boy? Ain't nothing. It's chilling. I'm in the gym getting this workout in before I go shoot this video. What's up with you? <laughs> the usual. That's the usual for you. Every day, it seems like every day you get the fitness in and every day you get that work in, shooting a video, recording music. You know what I'm saying? You, you nonstop with you, Kyle. <laughs> Yo, let me, say, let me say something real quick, man. Growing up in New York City and grinding, being an intern in New York City, and being able to be the main DJ at Chevy Lounge in Harlem, and you know when it was, nigga, t t Jim Jones for the culture, as y'all already know. But if you were living in New York City, it was a whole different type of movie. So salute to Jim, and he represents the gym culture too. <laughs> nah, he's not going to miss a workout. You know what I'm saying? And um, we definitely uh glad to have him in here because I definitely wanted to give him his flowers because. You know what I'm saying? He he's kept uh, the the culture progressing forward. He's kept the dip set, you know, name alive. You know what I'm saying? Like definitely been the most consistent, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the dip set, just never, never stopping, always dropping music, always dropping content for the culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, you know, and and we glad to have you. Capo, what's up with that Capo Deluxe though, man? What 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 that's hitting on, man? <laughs> Oh, this guy's doing his workout. All right, <laughs> uh, what are we talking about? El Capo, <laughs> El Capo Deluxe, baby. What, oh, El, Cap El Capo Deluxe is out right now. I've been shooting all the videos for um all the projects I've done. I, I actually did. I recorded like six projects while I was on um while everything was locked down during quarant during quarantine um open quarantine studio. So I did the deluxe. Yeah, I got the Harry Fraud yeah. project dropping. Yeah. And I got yeah, Graham, yeah. Graham Jones mute album mics, dropping. Mute your mics. Go ahead, go ahead, Capo. Then I got a Scram Jones album dropping. Then I got a Young Bird hit makers album to, dropping. Used to be and my also friend. got a Beethoven album dropping. So yes. I finally knocked these videos out for all the singles I got for all these records. So I ain't got to revisit it or worry about it. I just put them in the can. Nah, you definitely doing that. The El Cabo de la I mean, how many joints you got on here? I was just, I was just, rock I've been rocking it all weekend, but this joint got like what, 20, 20? Uh, let me let's so see. The, the, deluxe, the deluxe is 15. So all together with the original album is 30, 31 tracks. I believe. 31 tracks. You know what I'm saying? And this, this is basically a double album, you know what I'm saying? With the original, you put it out uh, uh, how many months apart? When'd you put out the original El Capo? 
2019, I believe it was, early mm -hmm. 2019. I can't yeah. remember the exact date. It been out for about a year and some change. I know, and, and when that came out, everybody was feeling it, was like, you know what I'm saying, was definitely feeling, you know what I'm saying, feeling the energy, felt like it was one of your, your best projects to date, and then you dropped the deluxe on them, and it's like, man, here we go again. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I mean, I, I, I feel like I found a whole brand new stride. I feel like I'm a brand new artist out here again, so I'm just pushing the limit like a, like, like a new artist should, you know what I mean? So, and, and I got the experience of, a, of, a, of an OG, of a vet, so, you know, let's see how this goes. Did you do the whole album in Quarantine Studios? Yeah, the whole deluxe album I did in Quarantine Studios. I actually finished it on the in, in Aruba by the pool on Quarantine Studios. My engineer was in New York where he was at, so that was dope. And, and break down the concept for the, for those who don't know, you know what I'm saying, who, who you know, might have been under a rock somewhere and ain't been seeing what's going on, man. Like, break down what's going on with, with Quarantine Studios, what it's about, how it operates, and all of that. Uh, Quarantine Studios is a virtual space I created for artists uh, in two different formats. One is we've I've, uh, created a software where we can record in real time virtually and don't have to leave the screen and do anything a uh, recording studio could do just from the comforts of my own home and add an engineer to it just like you in the studio. I ain't got to press no buttons at all. Go in the booth like I'm in the studio and my engineer's on the screen wherever he may be. Um, but it's also uh, an artist-driven um, platform where we render services for independent artists, new artists and established artists the same. Uh, we got uh, um, independent entertainment attorneys, uh, publicists, DJ, publishing, producers. everything, anything you can name of that the music has we have so we can we can comfortably do whatever a record label could do and whatever a recording studio could do all for the comforts of my screen. Nah, no doubt. I definitely tapped in personally with Quarantine Studios. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to record, did rec I did a record on it. We did a record on that joint, right? Yeah, shout out to homie Kingpin Slim. Kingpin Slim was in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Jones was where he was at. I was where I was at. We all tapped in and got it knocked out, man. It was a beautiful thing. Technology is a beautiful thing. I, I Even if outside opened back up, I'm like, I'm, we might as well just keep tapping in on Quarantine Studios, you know what I'm saying? That's natural progression. It's like beep, beep is the iPhones. It has to happen, especially with everything being shut down and it's so hard to get around. It's like, you know, it's a perfect thing to get into and convenient. Nah, you, no doubt. We got a lot of DJs in here in the room, you know what I'm saying, tapping in with you, you know what I'm saying? and and. I feel like the DJs has always been the lifeline of hip hop and the lifeline to, to artists such as yourself being able to have longevity in the game, you know what I'm saying? And would you drop a new music and still doing it? Do you feel the same way? How's your relationships been with the DJs? I know, but you talk about your relationship in the game with like DJs and, and hip hop. You know well, what I'm saying? I mean, as DJs, I always respect the DJs because DJs make the crowd move. That's always been rule number one. And if any artist who wants to prosper in this game, you got to have a relationship with the DJs because the DJs is what will put the music on me. Me personally, I have some dope relationship with some DJs I consider friends of mine. Um, I haven't really been in tune with radio or too much of the DJs as of the past few years as to you know, politics as usual, like you like to say, and, I, and I'm not one to fight over no radio airwaves or right. get disgruntled about that. Not as I got older, it didn't make any sense when I could make the same money I'm making without even getting my record played on radio. Right. You know I mean, so I, I leave that up to the DJs. I mean, they know it's dope. They know it's not dope. But we all get caught up in what everybody else is doing. And we all go into one direction and nobody wants to step out the box. And when it comes to music, it seems DJs follow each other. And it feels like everybody follow each other down south. As far as where I'm from, nobody's showing the proper love that the artists need to be shown, especially for artists like myself who has been putting out quality music for the past few years. And I can say that wholeheartedly. Like, through my hiatus, I came back up stronger than ever and even now i got music that definitely reflects radio play and djs or P pds or whatever don't have to do it because it's all politics there's a dollar behind everything and if you ain't got the hundred some thousand to go pay for a full radio run nine times out of ten your record ain't gonna get blasted at the radio because they got a radio playlist that the pds come in and tell them they must stick to so a couple of seconds of playing outside music is not really gratifying for the artists like myself so i have to stay out of it you dig and still get my bag no matter what but I love all the DJs regardless and what their position is. I know we all got a job to do and sometimes it's a harder fight than necessary. So, you know, we play it like that. 
That's why that's why we call the Stu Review the, the jewelry store, man, because it's free gems up here. That's that's a lot of free gems right there. You know what I'm saying? From an OG in the game that then seen it all, you know, and then had big radio play, you know, records all over the country going crazy, you know what I'm saying, on the radio, you know, before streaming, before the internet, before, you know what I'm saying, IG and all of that, and even after you know, uh, the internet and IG and just, you know, staying consistent. You say you take a, a, you took a hiatus, but it never really felt like you went too far, or was going too long, you know what I'm saying? And um, still rocking and rolling. Let's talk about these records, you know what I'm saying? Some, because you definitely got some joints that, that, that I feel like, you know what I mean, could be on the radio. I, I asked Sus and uh, Reds to, you know, pick some joints yeah. off of El Capo. That, that 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 you know they feeling so uh we're gonna get into some uh el capo hot picks real quick you know what i mean reds where you at sure. dj reds we got my oh, man, man I'm right here. you know what i'm saying dmv right here capo uh hello, hello? Yo, can you me? yeah definitely dtlr radio dash radio all of that good stuff reds talk to him what you feel what up jim el jones capo, man? what's up my brother how you feeling all right my favorite my favorite record off of this project is nothing less nothing less nothing less Tell I, know, why. I know i know you, i know you anti radio but i think you should push that song to radio man i think that song could be a, a big hit for you outside of what it's already doing nothing less definitely right, um, you got the that, and, you got the power reds he don't he, you push it you, he don't even no more. push it we going to push it I'm, for him you know what I'm saying? i need the clean version i don't got it clean right, i'm i'm going to get stu i'm going to get stu the um the whole clean album to um when we get off the phone i'm having sending a dj package and he can send it to all of y'all yeah, okay perfect. cool and uh, another record off of there i'm really feeling is um i like the nyc with fat joe um yeah. i also i also like um don't know what they took him for. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they took him for. That's three. That's three. Yeah, that's you three. ain't picked none of my joints, so I'm going to stop you right there because, you know what I'm saying, you ain't picked none of my joints yet. Sus, Sus, where you at? Yeah. Kappa, what up, boy? What's up, Sus? How you doing, man? I'm pretty good, yeah. my bro. How you feeling? I'm good. I feel good. The project, first of all, I, I love it. It's you know it's real New York. Jim's been doing this a long time. I like the fact that Fred's on it a few times. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Fred the Godson. I love the fact that my brother Mano's on it a couple of times. I like the fact that the Heat Makers did most of the project, if not the whole project. It sounds it sound like every song said Heat Makers. So yeah, it's um, all Heat Makers projects. It's, it's, a, it's a double yeah. album. Yeah. yeah so I, I think the, it's hard to pick one record because I think the whole shit is just a good body of work and it feels real hip hop. But Word. I love Father Forgive Us featuring Mano. It's one of my records that I turn up to disrespectful not to, I actually text Mano. Jim, you killed it too, obviously. I don't have your new number, but I text Mano and I told him that um he murked that shit. I like yeah. the I like how you did the Bad Boys record and took right. it back to the 90s with that record and had everybody spitting bars on that. And Fred was yeah. on that record. But there's a there's a bunch of records on here I like, man. Gospel's hot. So Thank the whole you. project to me is just Incredible. I don't know how many of y'all heard the whole project, but it's just a great body of work. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I definitely agree. No, I definitely agree. And it's dope that none of y'all picked um, um, none of my joints, you know what I'm saying, too. That's how dope that the, the project is. You know, I mean, it got 31 joints, so, you know, we definitely could, you know, not. But I, even out of the um, them joints, like Chase That Feeling, that, that, that joint, Definitely had that feeling. Election off the top, you know what I'm saying? That joint was crazy. Love, love of the Who hustle. Talking, love of the hustle was crazy. Oh, mute so your phones, mute Jones. your phones. One mic, one mic. But um, uh, uh, my era with May Mayno. I like the Mama I Made It joint because y'all just was extra real. You and Cam, hearing you and Cam on the joint, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely always good. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I know. You know, I know how y'all get down about y'all moms, so I, I could see this joint being played every Mother's Day and all of that, you know what I'm saying? So definitely, like, any of them joints, you know what I'm saying, is just crazy, make you cringe your face up, you know what I mean, frown your face up and all that good stuff. Heat makers, you took it back, Jim, like, you, you, took, you took, it, took it back with the feeling by, by doing all these joints with the heat makers and bringing that certain sound back to remind cats, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm sure Sus can attest, you know, to that NY sound from that, from y'all era. Well, no, that's another thing I like, man, because a lot of people's trying to follow what's trending and Jim just follow what he feels is hot in his, his soul and, and what's hot for hip hop in general. You know what I'm saying? Instead, instead of following what the trend is and doing the drill shit and doing all that. So I, I appreciate that too. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Nah, definitely. Can we get a can we get a live weather report? What's the weather like where you at? <laughs> oh, no, that's good. It's light outside. The day is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm about to get ready to go shoot a video to the um, actually to the bad boy record. Um, in the second, about to leave out of here, go down there and shoot this video. So I'm kind of excited. I've been working, man. Um, like I said, any DJs um need to get my info or get in contact with me. You can hit Stu. So I've been, I've known Stu since I was a teenager. So you know, I really appreciate this because I am putting out a lot of music at a, at a, at a, at, a, at a maximum altitude, ma magnitude, and I really need the support because I feel like I got some records now that I can get back onto the radio with. And as I start dropping these new projects, I think everybody gonna see like you now the uh El, the El Capo was something different because it was done by heat makers and we all know that's a nostalgic sound but moving forward with harry fraud and scram jones yeah. and, 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 and the young bird like i got some real stupid shit about the drop so you know y'all just stay close and i'm about to start bombing like, i just put out we just dropped the bada bing the first single off the harry fraud project called bada bing featuring french montana i think that's the temp i think that's a fucking immaculate temple for dj so y'all check that out i think you're gonna find me right on that one and shit i'm here and that's a beautiful thing which you which y'all did, what you and friends did, you know, wiping that friction to the side after after 15 years and getting some money yes, together. Yes, we that's, a, that's a good, good, good uh message to the youth, them, you know what I mean? Yes. What's up with that? What's up? Is, is there any more prior? I see y'all, yes, I, mean, I see that hashtag, that HBO hashtag, that that Harlem Bronx only. What's up with that? That's an old school that's an old school thing they used to say back in the day. It's a hustle of term. HBO, Harlem, Bronx only, but it feels good, man. Shouts to French, shouts to everybody over there, Coke boys. You know, as you get older, you get smarter. I was Time just about to say that, can I interrupt? That felt good that you and French did that together and I saw the post and all that. I was gonna say, Jim Jones today, do you think this could have happened with Jim Jones 15 years ago to piece that up the way you guys did, man? Of course because... not. <laughs> no, I, don't I don't know. I don't know what the conversation It didn't was. happen. Only time could have did that, you know what I mean? So I'm glad I'm in this space right now that I can't put certain things behind me because a lot of things was fucking up a lot of paper that I had in front of me and shit like that for, you know, obvious reasons and politics, of course. But at this point in my life, I got a whole nother agenda that I'm trying to attack and shit like that. So a couple of things I know are not going to mess with what I'm trying to do. And, you know, Dope. Yeah, so, yeah. Outside, outside of the DJs that's on the call, um, we got a few artists on here, uh, some that's on the come up, really dope artists. Um, I know, I know personally, it's a lot of DMV artists on the, um, on the call right now. Um, how you feel about working with, you know, artists on the come up, um, giving them features and putting them on some of your songs if you feel like they dope? Is that something you're down with or? That's something I do every night. If you watch my platform, Quarantine Studios, that platform is all about the up and coming artists and the new establishing artists, artists establishing themselves in this game. It's about helping them establish themselves, pointing them in the right direction, make sure they spend their money on the right thing and that not get abused and used and shit like that. And as far as new artists, I, I've done over 40 videos in this past two months with new artists from all over the country right. and all over my city. And, and that doesn't mean that I'm only does thing for my city. It doesn't matter who the artist is. If you, if you got some music that I like, I'm most likely to work with you, but it's also a business. So I render services and all artists need features. I'm not stingy with that. I give them out. That's, I use my artistry to make my dollars and shit like that, but I'm here to actually help the, the younger generation, I'm here to put them on. That's it. That's all I do. That's all I've been doing. Very nice. Now that's a fact. He got joints with Kingpin Slim, you know what I'm saying? DMV artists, you know what I'm saying? Video, y'all did videos together. We still try to get that video done too with that new joint too, I, I, Capo. I gotta slide up the Harlem real quick and get it done. That's that's nothing. We 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 there, mask on, mask on, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna do we going we gonna do uh this firearm. We are gonna get this gun training in too. This bang bang. Yeah, I would like to do that. I definitely would like to like to see how that goes. I gotta, I got two more months before I get off this funny paperwork that the government, <laughs> that the police got me on. Got myself in some trouble a couple years back, but um after that 
no felonies on my record. They said I could uh, apply for gun licenses and all that type of well, shit. Yo, so we I'm could do. We could still get the private, private, private work going not, on. I, no, I, no I, cameras. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I'm gonna just leave it alone to March. March around the corner. You heard? I'm gonna just keep it cool to March. You heard? Nah, March is I'd a rather, good time anyway. That's you heard? I'd rather, I'd rather be safe than sorry, boy. You heard? I'm nah, cool on that. facts, facts. That's the that's that maturity. See, I thought I was talking to 15 year ago, Jim. My bad, my nah, bad. Nah, You're right. Nah, wait, wait. March right around the corner. We get that done in a jiffy, but I'm definitely intrigued by watching what you was doing and shit like that. It's something I definitely would like to take me and my son and probably my nephew to come down as soon as I'm finished with this shit and, and get them some training. Like I just enrolled my son in some boxing, not for the fact that I want him to learn how to fight, but as he get ready to go to college, I want him to be able to hold his own in certain situations and shit like that. You dig? He's a little handsome. I don't want nobody to think they're going to take advantage of my little Facts. hair. I like a Facts. motherfucker. No, nah, it's, the same, it's the same with me too. To, like even with the fire or with the guns, it ain't about I ain't learning it because I want to shoot somebody. It's it's really just more of a uh, you know mental discipline and and, and even even the safety aspect is really like the medical aspect. That's what I want to mm -hmm. promote to the hip hop community and these youngins out here running around with with the rockets and sprockets and and they letting them things go and and, and cats is dying, rappers is dying, and and just youth in general is dying. And I think like. If they just knew about like tourniquets and medical and safety and having a first aid kit, just if you're gonna have the guns, would you have a first aid kit with you so you can, you know, render some services on the scene if something may go down that may save a, a life or two? It's all types of things with the guns that that I want to get across to the to the youth them and to to, to the hip hop industry. So I definitely want to get with you when your papers get right, so so we can help spread that message. You know what I'm saying? Ah, it's dope, man. Like, you know, you could definitely teach a, a tactical class for just every hip hop artist, even the ones that like to just have their boys around and thinking their boys are tougher than everybody. And, you know, you got to move out, just teach them how to move when the artist step out the car and how to move tactically and shit like that shit all, that shit is a mind fuck. So when people see certain shit, they, they tend to step away. So I, I already know where you at with it, man, but I ain't going to bore you with all that tactical stuff. I got some music out right now, the Lux is out. <laughs> El Capo Deluxe. I'll we'll go your... bump that. The Harry Fraud singles out by the Bing with French. I'll go bump that. Um, got the Vamp Fit Pop in Quarantine Studios. I'll go check out the platform. Um, you know, I ain't too far. I'm shooting videos and I'm feeling good. You dig? Nah, that's what it is. I'm definitely gonna tap in with you. Make sure y'all play it on that on that Apple My Music. Got that that uh uh. Uh, mode now with, with the lyrics play you got heavy bars on there you're not fucking around with the bars and i know you still sleeping and writing <laughs> yeah i definitely take a nap and come up with some fire you heard yo i done seen that firsthand everybody think jones sleep next thing you know he up going to go in the booth and drop bars like when did you even write you know what i'm saying so no nah, that that's definitely um we man, we, we you you for the culture, man. We we definitely appreciate you. Sus Reg, you got anything you wanna um leave Jim with before he get out of here? We gotta get back to that workout, man. Yeah, first of all, Jim, I'm gonna get your number from P Studio, your current number. I need your diet, I need your workout yeah. routine, yeah. and I am a fat fuck. All right. I wanna That's listen easy. to your new music while I'm working out so that I can transform to some something like you in the next Nine I, can months. Help you out. I can help you out with that real easy. I can help you out with that. Real you got to smoke some saucy, sus. You got to smoke that saucy. <laughs> yeah, y'all get that saucy, man. But thank y'all, man. Whatever y'all need from me, I'm always here, Stu. You know that. Nah, I appreciate your time, Capo. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everybody y'all download that that Cap El Capo Deluxe. It's available right now, and and we're gonna tap in. I'm gonna get the clean album from it and from them and send it to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Art shout out to my guy Bo Young Prince on here from Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? DC artist. I'm I'm a, I'm a link link you and uh and Capo Bo. That would be dope. Bo is dope. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kingpin Bo, Slim, Tito Star, and Skate, Skate. Yeah, we are gonna make Listen. it happen. These artists that you got from DMV and shit like that, let me know and I'll set up a, 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 a quarantine studio session, send you the link, and then we can see what they're working with. You heard? There it is. You fucking with Clubhouse, Jim? You on Clubhouse? That shit's a little annoying. Everybody don't need to be speaking. Half, half these motherfuckers are stupid as shit. They don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm glad I tend you to say that, that publicly. Say that, on, yeah. say that publicly on Instagram. I'm annoyed at Clubhouse. Right, retarded ass niggas on Clubhouse. <laughs> when, when did you niggas ever start making sense? I don't understand. You're fucking <laughs> <laughs> they done gave ev they done gave everybody everybody yeah, a pedestal. Who the fuck gave you a voice, nigga. You just supposed to just listen, dickhead. But let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. I'm out of here, man. Y'all be good, man. Appreciate it. Capo, El Capo right, Deluxe. Man.
You know what I'm saying? There it is, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The Stu Review, El Capo Christmas Edition. Uh, sus, man. What you got coming up, man? What, what, that the people could tap in with, with you with? Well, first, well, first of all, um, I would greatly appreciate if everybody could follow my artist, Leah Robinson. She's an R&B singer. Dope. I'm going to be bothering all y'all about um, uh, Leah Robinson on Instagram. She's very dope. Actually, her, her family, um, Sylvia Robinson, is the is the woman who signed Sugar Hill Gang, you know what I'm saying, back in OG. the day. Yeah, so she's the granddaughter of her, and she's an R&B singer, and she's very talented. She writes, she sings, she, um, she engineers. She actually has a studio if you ever guys ever need an engineer and somebody to engineer you if, you, if you're an artist. Um, you know, I got my, my, my company, The Feature Presentation. I'm trying to work on some horror movies, and I got my, my artists, and I got my radio shows, and I'm doing the Wendy Williams show, and I'm doing, um, I'm DJing for Mariah still. Dope, man. Sus. I'm trying to get down in one of them movies. What's up? I'm still at the early stages. We're trying to raise money for the first one. I'm trying to really, really make it phenomenal. So anybody who needs my info, just get my info from Peace Stu. We're going to do a clubhouse. <laughs> I, yo, I don't be, I'm not going to lie. I got followers on clubhouse. I just started it, but I don't be on that shit. I ain't going to We're going to start a room and be uh, the moderators and control the stage and all that and let, let some artists come in there and play some music for you and Reds and for some of the other DJs, man. We, we, st we still got to utilize, even though it's annoying, we got to figure it out and utilize these platforms the best we can for, for our culture for our progressiveness, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Also, yo, real quick, you know I like to put on my people, my boys in here, DJ Ryan Vandal. Um, he's a young DJ. Bet. He, when the world was open, he DJed almost all the these clubs, these high-end clubs in New York City, and he got records coming out too. But I, I know I really want all the DJs to fuck with each other, so follow him as well. No, I definitely shout out to DJ Ryan Vandal in here, you know what I'm saying? Thanks, Thanks peace, too, man. Appreciate it. Anything you want to say, DJ Ryan Vandal, you know what I'm saying, to the people? Right. Sus so, is the homie. Um, obviously, Jim, I've been listening to the music forever. been playing the music forever. Um, I just love to connect with uh, certain people, artists, DJs, so, you know. All right, baby. You, what's your, what's your, you on IG? What's your IG? It's uh, at DJ Ryan Vandal. All right. So I'll, I'll put it in the chat right now. Bet. There it is. Shout out to my guy, Interstate Snake. And the state snake got a new record out. Snake, where you at? You still in here? He can't get it off mute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm still in here. I'm still in here. Appreciate the love, man. Sus one. What's up, big homie? Love, bro. Send me that record so I can so I can hear. It. Let's support each other. Most definitely, most definitely, man. I definitely will definitely send that out, man. Make sure y'all get that, man. That Lomo subtitle going crazy right now in the streets yeah. and all that. Shout out to Reds. Shout out to my, my good peoples all on the call. My man, Pete Stew, man. That's family right here. They've been supporting me since I was a wee lad, since yeah. I was in my, in my teens. So, yeah, most definitely, man. And yeah. Everybody on this show. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all follow me at Interstate Snake. And I need to get you some merch too, Sus. When I got my own clothing line, this junk called We Out Here Personally. You know what I'm saying? And, and I send it to me. So for me, I, for me, I, do you have the size extra fat? That's the size you need to send to my house. XF? I'll wear it on television. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear it on make television. It happen. Uh, we're, gonna make, we're gonna definitely make that happen. Where my guy, um, where my guy, Bo Young Prince at? Bo, you still in here? Bo, you in here? I see yeah. you. Oh, there you go. What's up, Bo? I don't hear you no more, bro. Yo, Stu. Yo, what's good with you, BYP? Yeah, you know how them headphones, them, them AirPods been tripping. I got the old generation. Them joints be doing some wild shit. Yo, Sus, this my guy from Southeast DC. He signed to Def Jam. Uh, he dropped a, a project last year. Um, he got a big record that's on the Spider-Verse, that, that, that soundtrack, that movie soundtrack called, called Let It Go. Um, hey, which he, one is that? I can't see him. Where is he? He's BYP. Oh, yeah. What's oh, going on? I see him. I see him. What up, boy? What's happening with you? What's up with you? Chilling, man. Yeah, so definitely. Send me, send me the music. Let me hear everything. For sure. You got me, Stu. What you got? I got you, Bo. What you got coming up, Bo? Um, we got a new project, top of the year, man. Um, been working real hard. Records on there with Hit Boy, um, and a couple other good folk. And um, you know, just really about to pick up the tempo in the city, um, come top of the year. So I've been working diligently. 
You just dropped nice. some. Uh, you just dropped some new merch too. I see you got that four hundred gas hoodie you on. Know, you know, right here. Know. You know, all marketing is good marketing. So you know, four hundred gas out right now. You know, I've been training like Stu too. I'm an advocate. You know what I'm saying? We're getting our permits out here. You know what I'm saying? Encouraging all these artists and stuff to do it the right way, not the slight way. So look at my boy, Stu. Look at him. There you go. It's unloaded. <laughs> there you it's go. It's unloaded. It's safe. You know what I'm saying? John, that's that, John Glick. That's that, BB? that's that BB? That's that BB? That's that BB. Yeah. Keep it close by at all times. But yo, definitely, Bo, we, we on the lookout. You know, I got you. I'm going to send your music to Sus. Yo, Reg, you got any, um, any artists in here that you want to shout out? Hell yeah, we got Mike B in here. We got Ray Vic in here. We got Mr. Elbow in here. We got Tito Star in here, Paris in here. Uh, of course, Interstate Snake. My man Jermaine in here. That's our uh, fives peoples right there. Uh, Neff Nuff said up in here. Um, yeah, man, it's a whole situation. I mean, all these artists make beautiful music and I'm behind all of them 100%. So. so so, here's what we need to do. We need to set up another joint for the top of the year, get Sus back on here, um, um, get get you Reds and get these artists in here to play their music on Zoom. You know, the Clubhouse joint is cool too, but I like I like Zoom. I like to uh, see people and, you know what I'm saying, we get to, you know what I mean, really tap in and, and see what's going on with people. So. Um, I think we should set something up. If y'all down, I'm down. You down, Sus? You down for something like that? Of course. Yeah, so there it is. I just wanted to make sure you said yes. it live. I recorded you, Sus, so you can't back out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what up, Five? Is that you, Five? What's up? I can't even see nothing. I don't think y'all can see me either. Good. You got you to gotta cut your video on. <laughs> Man, we, we you just missed Capo Five, but but we had to. I'm tell in here that. dying wigs and shit. <laughs> oh shit! What's up, Shawty? <laughs> hey, hey Sus, this, this this is a dope artist. Five, we had her on a stew review a couple weeks ago. She was in the movie Queen and Slim. She got a project nice. she just dropped a few minutes ago. I'm gonna make sure you get her music too. Uh, um, yeah, nice. Indeed. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm alright. <laughs> so Stu, send me all her music. Send me everybody's music. Yeah, I'm gonna just send you like a Stu review recap email with everybody's music, and um, we just gonna keep tapping in, and we gonna get that that together for the top of the year to have everybody come in and play like a minute and a half of their song or something, and talk about they got a video that or something. Right now. Right. And you can check me out too on um Instagram if you're on social platform. I am five, so it's I am the number five out of E. Yep. I am the number five. I V E. She's dope, right. son. She got big movies coming out and all that. You know what I'm saying? I just followed. Okay, bet. I follow right. that. There it is. Connecting dots. That's how, you know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. The Stu Review. Once again, thank you to everybody that tapped in and, and, and chimed in. Reds, Sus1, thank you for, for your time, my brother. We're going we gonna to do this again, top of the year, 2021, my brother. Yeah, nah, let's do, it, let's do it. I was hoping Leah was gonna chime in, but I think she's doing some. So yeah, yeah. I, pre I appreciate. We, we do we do a special one. We we make her you know an artist spotlight edition with you and her top of the year. Let's do it and feature her joints. You know what I'm saying? Really get into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, love y'all. I appreciate everything, man. I love that all the DJs connect. You know what I'm saying? This is hot, Stu. This is hot. All right, brother. I thank you, sus. I thank you, man. Feature presentation. We tapped in. Love, y'all. Send me everybody's social media and all that shit, too. Definitely. I got you. Recap email coming. All right, love. One. Bye.